Right, just a quick update on the uh, <clears throat> on the Diana Antec. Um, I was going to fit a scope on this, but I had such a great time shooting it without uh, with the open sights the other day out in the field. Um, I'm actually thinking of not bothering for a while. Um, so I'm going down the range tomorrow, um, and I'm actually going to take this rifle with me and leave it with um, open sights um, and see how I get on actually. Um, it seems a shame to put a, a telescopic sight on it. It's such a, a fine looking rifle without. Um, yeah, so a couple of things, just comparing this to my other Springers. So compared to the um, the Walther Master Pro that I've got, first thing I'd say is, the T06 trigger on this is far, far superior to the uh, the trigger on the on the Walther. Much, much better. Much lighter, much crisper. Just generally a lot nicer. However, the Walther has a much better lockup mechanism. That little lever on the Walther that you operate to, uh, the little barrel catch, is much better than the ball detent on this. Because this has got a really stiff ball detent. It's it's very positive. But the trouble is closing the barrel. Um, because you have to give it such a good push up and jolt to shut it. It makes it quite noisy when you're closing the barrel. Um, which isn't ideal for hunting. It's very solid. Don't get me wrong. It's very solid. But it's just. You just really do have to swing it up hard to get it to shut. Um, which isn't ideal, really. Um, the other thing I've noticed, whilst the bluing on this is very nice, and the polishing is very, very nice, and the finish overall is very nice, I'd have to say that the bluing, uh, the, the, the polished finish and the bluing, um, is not as good as on my uh, Master Pro, and it's not as good as on the uh, Air Arms Pro Sport either. Um, it's good. It is good. You know. You know you can see that. It's very nice. It is very nice. But it's not as good. As the. Uh, the Pro Sport. And the. Uh, the Walther Master Pro. The stock on the other hand. Is lovely. Really taken by the design of this stock. This checkering is really nice. It's really grippy. Very, very nice. And the overall design, this hog's back type um, cheek piece, pistol grip proportions, the way it swells out just in front of the trigger. And the overall finish of the stock is very, very, very good. Very good. It's a lovely stock. It really is very nice. Really nice cheap uh, butt pad as well. Non adjustable, unfortunately. But nonetheless, very, very nice. Um, it's a lovely stock and a lovely bit of walnut. Very nice. Um, other than that, I have to say, you know, it's a good gun. You know, I am comparing it with uh, two rifles there that are uh, a couple of hundred quid dearer than this. Um, so maybe not a totally fair comparison. Um, as regards shooting it, uh, I would say, actually, personally, I prefer the way that this shoots to uh, either the Pro Sport or the uh, or the Walther. I like the way this shoots. It's dead. There's a little bit of recoil, but it's fairly dead, and it's very, very, very snappy. Very snappy action. You get like a little kick, little direct kick back on the recoil and that's it um like i said this is the first gas ram i've ever had and i am very impressed with the way that that gas ram mechanism shoots because this is very very good um in the hand to shoot it really is it feels lovely to shoot you get a slight kick and that's it it's it's very good no residence um no rebounds, nothing. It's just like a proper, um, apart from the that little kick, 
you know it's fast very quick rapid um action on it it's very very good really like the way it shoots really do a very snappy rifle to shoot uh, on a slightly different note um I had a message this morning from a couple on Anglesey asking about the club. Uh, unfortunately, um, accidentally deleted the message before I had a chance to read it properly. Um, they did say, I caught the first part of it, saying that they uh, watched the channel. So if they could get back in touch with me again, uh, I will do my best to answer their uh, the query. Uh, I apologise for... Uh, Apologise for that, but I deleted the message before I had a chance to read most of it. I'm very sorry about that. So if you just get back in touch with me again, I'll uh, I'll do my best to uh, to answer your answer that query, whatever it was. Uh, and I'm really sorry about that. But so there you go, Diana, Entech, and really really impressed. There's a spring gun, and it's such good fun shooting without um, telescopic sights again. It really is going back to uh, back to basics. A nice break barrel air rifle with open sights. Great, great fun. Um, obviously, I don't. Well, I wouldn't use it for hunting at anything over very close ranges, and I'm talking probably 25 yards. This rifle's capable of hunting way beyond that. I reckon you could push from my initial accuracy tests on this thing I, you could push this out to 40 yards easy same as pcp um but with open sights um the best i would ever dream of going would be probably 25 yards with this but having said that um for that sort of shooting it's so easy there's just like nothing to, you know you just literally just grab the rifle pocket full of pellets and you're off it's fantastic fun um and I've been out three times now with this thing and really, really enjoying the way it shoots with the open sights. So I'm going to take it down the uh, take it down the range tomorrow and uh, do a bit of target blatting with it at sort of 25 yards, 20 yards and see how I get on with it. But yeah, I'm loving it at the minute. Back to basics air gunning. And, and a beautiful thing. I mean, look at that. I mean, it is a lovely looking rifle. You know, they are beautiful. There's something about the simplicity and the clean lines of a of a brake barrel air rifle um, that just makes them just just nice looking bits of kit. So other than like I say, other than the uh, the detent, which really does take a fair old uh, clunk up to get it closed. Um, other than that, this thing's um, well very impressive. Especially for the money. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. I got this from uh, another one. I got from uh, City Air Guns in Birmingham. I've got to say that shop's an amazing place. It's ridiculous. It seems to have just about anything you can think of. Um, he's got one knocking about somewhere. Uh, it's crazy the sort of variety of rifles. When you think that I've gone from uh, my Fainwick Bow... 800 field target which is very sort of specialist field target shooting air rifle um, very expensive bit of high-tech kit and then gone to a, uh, a beautiful brake barrel rifle all under the same roof with everything you can imagine in there that's where I got my Anschutz Warren Edwards stock from as well um, yeah dead impressed with that place Bob's a really nice guy so, there you go. Thanks for watching.